Oh, yes. forever. You'll have only till midnight, and then on the stroke of twelve, the spell will be broken, and everything will be as it was before. Yes, I understand. full of light. Why didn't I see it? What did you do? I can hardly tell she's the same person. Who are you? Tara. Tara, in your heart, do you believe that dreams can come true? I do. But I also believe you have to make an effort to make them come true. Yes, of course. But sometimes just believing in dreams is easier said than done. Cinderella believes her dreams can come true. I wanted her to see that she is right. So that's what made her shine. Faith in her heart that anything is possible. Where did she go? To the royal ball at the palace. Go, and when you see her dancing, you'll know that she believes, and that will help you to believe too.
Not here, too. I've met you before. I'll take care of them. You wait right here. Please, may I go with you? I so want to get to the ball. Um... All right. But stay behind me, or you'll get hurt. <laughs> You're not worried? Didn't you tell me it was important to stay strong? Oh. Um, I, I guess I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, you ready? Yes.
Take that! Thank you, um... Terra. Thank you, Terra. Maybe just believing is enough. But who is she, Mother? Do we know her? Well, the Prince certainly seems to. I've never seen her before. Nor I. But she certainly is. Wait. There is something familiar about her. Unversed. <laughs> Tell me, how do I get up there? Um, well, uh, there is a passage beneath the foyer staircase. Thanks.
down here! Guards? Guards! Oh, where could they possibly be? I'll take care of this. saved us all. <sighs> the guests were just starting to enjoy themselves. Well, don't give up just yet. Oh! Tell me something. Have you always had a problem around here with those monsters? No. I believe... Uh, they began to appear shortly after a boy in a mask arrived in our kingdom. Those that saw him said the monsters obeyed his every command. A boy in a mask? Do you know where he is now? Well, no. I don't believe anyone has seen him since then. I see. Oh, my goodness. It's midnight. Yes, so it is. But why? Goodbye. Wait, come back. Please come back. I'm sorry. Mademoiselle! Senorita! Wait! Aqua! Tara! Tara, Ven ran away from home. What? I think he left to go find you. Do you have any idea why? No. Actually, just before I left, he tried to tell me something. I should have listened to what he had to say. Oh. So, did you manage to locate Master Zaynort? No, but it seems he's looking for pure hearts filled with light. Pure hearts filled with light? All I can tell you is that his search hasn't taken him here. All right. I'll stay and see if I can find more clues. Okay. The prince is in the ballroom ahead. He might have some answers. Thanks. Aqua. You still have the same dream? 
Well, yes. There's this girl here. Her name is Cinderella. She made me realize how powerful it is just to believe. No matter how impossible things seem, a powerful enough dream will always be enough to light the darkness. Mm. If you see her, give her my thanks. Will do. The boy in the mask who is leading the unversed. Who is he? Does he have anything to do with Master Xehanort's disappearance? Master Ericus said he first received word of these events from Master Yen Sid. Maybe it's time I went and spoke with him myself.
Master Yen Sid. My name is Terra. Yes, Ericus's pupil. I've been expecting you. It is the unversed. Yes, Master Yensid. I thought it best to seek the counsel of one wiser than myself. I am no longer a master. I doffed that mantle. But sir, wasn't that your pupil I passed on the way in? He had a keyblade. You refer to Mickey. He too sought guidance here. As a king, he is good and kind, but the weight of a crown has not cured him of impetuousness. He has left with an object whose power he does not understand nor know how to control. Mickey imagines my star shard will be of help in his current quest, and like you, he is eager to use his keyblade to set things right. I'm not sure I even understand what's wrong. Master Xehanort is missing. And now I've learned, there's a masked boy who is controlling those unversed on the loose. To arrive at the truth, perhaps you should approach things differently. First, consider them one and the same problem. Master Xehanort and the unversed are connected somehow? I must not make assumptions. Find Xehanort, Terra. That is where you should begin. Yes, sir. I had hoped, Xehanort, your heart would no longer lead you astray. Master Xehanort! Terra! Come see me at once! Master Xehanort. I have been to other worlds. I know all about the things you've done. I just don't understand why. Someone had to safeguard the light from the demon I unleashed. You must know about the boy by now, the one in the mask. His name is Vanitas, a creature of pure darkness, one of my making. Vanitas? Are you telling me he came from you? He came from Ventus. <laughs> Ventus? Yes. Vanitas is the darkness that was inside your friend. <sighs> it was an accident. While training with me, Ventus succumbed to darkness. And there was but one way to save him. Strip that part of him away, and thus Vanitas was made. In the process, I damaged Ventus' heart in the most horrific way. So, I did what I felt was right and left him with Heracus. I knew the boy could not stay with me, the man who did him such grievous harm. Master Xehanort. Ventus has gotten a lot better since then. 
You shouldn't blame yourself for trying to save him. Well, thank you, lad. You know how to put an old man's heart at ease. So that's what it was. Go see. I'm Tara. What's your name? Ventus. You can talk. Aqua, come here. <laughs> So, are you here to train with us? Where are you from? Who is that man with you? You good with a keyblade? <laughs> Whoa! What's the matter? Are you okay? What did you do? <sighs> Nothing. I I just asked him some stuff. Ventus cannot tell you anything. Because he cannot remember anything. Huh? Master, why is Vanita still free? Ah, yes. Well, I did my best to contain him the moment he emerged, but... He managed to escape. Hmm. Vanitas uses the Keyblade to sow seeds of darkness. And now you see the world's team with his ghastly underlings. <laughs> the Unversed. He has no control over the darkness in his heart. The Keyblade is not his to bear. He's an abomination beyond hope of salvation. Lend me your strength, Terra. Right is wrong that I have wrought. But... I have no idea where to find him. What I can tell you about Vanitas amounts to this. His darkness is drawn to the light which he seeks to disrupt. And then destroy. It stands to reason that he will strike next in the City of Light. Radiant Garden. <laughs> Don't worry, Master. I'll take care of Vanitas. First, this can only mean Master Zaynor was right. Yeah. 
What's Master Xehanort doing here? Maybe he found something out. Why can't I ever seem to remember this address exactly? Hmm? Excuse me, Your Elderness. Huh? I believe you dropped this book. Did I? I'm very sad to say this isn't one of mine, but what a remarkable book it is. This unassuming volume seems to have the unusual effect of awakening one's innermost abilities. A book that makes people stronger? If it's all right, Your Elderness, might I have a closer look? The name is Merlin. I'm a powerful wizard, and I'll have you know a lot of wisdom comes with age. Anyway, as I said, the book is not mine, but I'd be happy to keep it here for you. Thank you, Merlin.
Thank you.